Hello everyone and welcome to another Hypertech tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you or talk to you about Cyberlink PowerDirector editing software and the Camelio H3O or different camcorders for that matter. So to start off, I bought the Toshiba Camelio H3O and I brought it home. I was planning on editing it with Windows Movie Maker, editing some video. I opened Windows Movie Maker. I went to my video, I dragged it into Windows Movie Maker, and BAM! This happened. I cried my eyes out. Okay, I didn't cry my eyes out, but I knew what was wrong. I knew what had to be done. Um, so, I'm, I'm telling you now. Basically, what this means is that you're when you record with your uh, Toshiba camcorder it records in AVI format. Format is different kinds of video. Um, you can also get MP4 format, you can get WMV format and you can get different kind of format but the Toshiba Camelio records in .AVI and Sony Vegas, Windows Movie Maker and all the different kinds of editing software doesn't read it. Now this really this really is a is a down downfall for people who bought this camera, but you can get converting softwares which convert your video into another format. So, for example, we could convert my AVI file into WMV, and then Sony Vegas Windows Movie Maker could read it. There's two things that's wrong with that. Number one. The quality will reduce like really badly from the HD quality that your camcorder records in to well good enough quality but b kind of bad. Number two, when you go to convert it, it will take half an hour for five minutes of video from your H3O camcorder. Now that's just terrible. If you have ha if you have half an hour of video, that's gonna take you a couple of hours to convert. <laughs> then you're going to have to produce it in your editing software which is going to take another couple of hours unless you have time you can do that but I wouldn't recommend it what I would re re what I would recommend is the Cyberlink PowerDirector editing software this software was built for camcorders like ours um, and is for editing your home video your own home video, your own home movies and do your own thing uh, so I'm going to drag my video into it here. Now this is hard to understand here, but in Sony Vegas, if you do com get a converting software and s convert it into WMV and re read it with Sony Vegas or something, that lags. Now if you don't know what lag is, you're going to have to Wikipedia, w Wikip you, uh, go on Wikipedia and look it up because I can't explain it. For if you can understand it, it's it's like it it doesn't play a smooth video in the preview it just it shows bits like pictures really slowly like i just did there now and what sony vegas tries to do it tries to put the highest quality in your preview and then you can't watch it because it's trying to render so much high quality at, at the one time and it can't do it with the preview so what this software does, it reduces the quality so just so just so you can watch it while you're editing and you can watch it smoothly without lag. Um but when you go to produce your video the quality will restore, the HD quality will restore. As you can see here the sky looks terrible here, that's because it reduced the quality. It is a very good software. I'd recommend you downloading it um or buying it. You can torrent download it, which I did, but it is illegal and I wouldn't recommend it. So, okay, thanks for watching. Please like, sub and comment.